Hello, I'm working on our uh, little red express heads. And you can see uh, these castings were very rough originally from from Mopar. That's just the way a lot of them were. Uh, Mopar Joe did the uh, port porting and finishing. And uh, of course the seats were uh, had a lot of water set in it. We're going to fix this. We're going to cut this out and put seats in. And we're getting set up to put in... Uh, some guides and so what I'm going to do here I'm going to take a uh, snap gauge and I'm going to what I'm hunting for is a uh, a guide that has minimal wear we're going to be putting uh, cast guides in there of course the exhausts are completely worn out You can see I set up here and I'm right there in the end with my snap gauge right there on the end of the guide and then when you go down in there you can see there's just nothing left anyway so what we're gonna do when I level ahead I'm gonna find the best guide and I'm gonna level on that that'll put us uh, that's maybe got a thousand and a half Found seven tenths wear. Check another. That's pretty good. So the the intakes were not real bad. Uh, they had about a thousand and a half, two thousand square. So we'll go ahead and we'll set up on a intake and uh, I think we can rebuild these. Uh, This is just what they had, and uh, uh, Joe had had them uh, hot dipped, and uh, that's our first, whoops, first part of leveling here. Had my cradle all out of whack. raise it up on the left side here I had had this cradle angled for a previous job okay we're coming in there looks look pretty good right there so I'll lock my cradle then we'll go back and check it and why. Okay, I need to bring the bubble back toward me. Some of you guys watch the channel, seen me do this before. I'm using the uh, Winona Van Norman PH6000DA. And my hair glare off that white there. That looks pretty darn good. Okay, and we'll check it back in X again. And we're looking pretty good. Okay, let's get set up to uh, uh, bore our guides out. Okay. I've got a uh, core drill in there. We're going to go in there and core drill out our guide. I'm core drilling about 200 RPM. On this machine, that seems like a pretty good speed. You want to be careful when you go through the other side. So you don't crack the guide boss out. 
some uh, some of you probably not seen me put in guides this way before there we go and sometimes you can go through and core drill them all and then come back and ream them in this particular case uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to core drill them, and I'm going to ream them, and I'm not going to move. I'm going to try to get this exactly on center. It's important on those exhausts where they're worn like that. Now, this is my reamer. And this is reaming to the uh, final size. We're going to put a 502 guide in there, and this is going to leave a approximately about a 500 thousandths hole, half inch. Okay. Okay, I'm going to show you. This is a uh, lineup pin, and this is uh, uh, not a pin, a uh, lineup arbor. And I've got a, a tapered cone here. And so when you have a worn out guide, what you want to do is use this to line up off the, the original seat. And so we're lining up off the original seat. Don't have to do this on the intakes because the intakes are not worn out like that. But you would do the same thing on there. So... So we're going to put our core drill in there. And I've only had to do this on the exhaust because they were badly worn. And this head will get hard seats put in the uh, exhaust and some, in the in, some of the intakes where they're badly rusted, they'll get replaced. I'm core drilling this. And you can use that lineup arbor also for lining your intake uh, guide cap. You just don't have to put the, uh, the tapered cone on there. So, of course, we're going to ream that, and I'm not going to move it. Now, in a real world, you, you know, I could core drill all these, and I could come back and ream all them because it does have a pilot on the end but I'm I'm leaving this set up for sake of alignment we're going to try to maintain consistent concentricity the best we can okay so I've got two more intakes to do little bit of a process it's not hard just uh, you know just uh, slow and steady wins the race here we're not really trying to beat the clock now see that I can tell by my o-ring groove that I could probably see if I can put a cone in there Yeah, see that? That doesn't touch, so we don't need the cone. And I wouldn't have to do this. I, I could just pilot it with the uh, pilot on the core drill, and that would be good enough on these intakes. You can see there we've got a pilot on there, and it'll go down in there. Yeah, you can tell that's pretty. It's not really uh, got a lot of clearance there. That would be fine to do that. But, uh, you know, I can just go ahead. It's just another step.
Okay. We'll put our in our uh, reamer. It has a pilot, and you can see we've just we've established that. Yeah, it just goes in there. And that picks up off the existing hole from our core drill. Nice steady feed rate. There you go. Okay. We'll do this last hole and then I'll uh, get this off the machine and we'll get some valve guides put in there. Since I'm done, I'll clean my tool off there, put it back in the tool board. I don't think you guys, have, most of you have probably not seen this before. Okay, there you go. We've got them all. I'll be back. Okay, I've got some uh, BG 9460H. They're, they're the hardened guides, hardened cast guides. And you can see They've got a spiral on that end. It's not knurled. It's called a spiral. But on the other end, it's solid. That, that spiral only goes down there so far, and it stops. So I'm going to... I've already got some uh, lubrication in the guides. You want to start off really gently, make sure you're square to the bore, let it square up. There we go. I put it in where the chamfer on the guide is about tangent with the original OD. Just that much is sticking down. I'll do another one. I'm putting the exhaust in first. Yeah. 
get this where we can This is a valve like we're going to put in there. Uh, this is similar to what's going in there. It's a 1600. There you go. Don't that look nice? And it won't even go in these others. It's just too tight. But I'll, uh, of course, they're going to have to be honed. I'm going to, I'll guide hone them. And I buy them undersized so I can home fit them. But that, that's like zero. Yeah, there's no play in there. So there you go. So let me get the rest of these in there and I'll be. Okay, we've got our intake guides in. All looks really good. Let me get a valve and we'll take a look see. Okay, there you go. Let's, uh, not sure if we're going to put this in or. The next size bigger, but I think this is what we're going to go with. There you go. That looks pretty awesome right there, and that's bigger than the factory Mopar, the 1880. This is a 194. That's a 1600. There you go. Valves are still nicely unshrouded. I think that'll do the ticket. Well, there you go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we're going to get away. We're going to fix all this rust over here. We're going to put a seat ring in there. We'll get all that cleaned up. Thanks for watching. Another shot in another chamber. That's that rusty chamber. But there you go. Looks pretty good.